This channel is about fun and sharing everything I know. It's my fashion and beauty world. <laughs> and yes, yeah, you're invited too. to Norway! <laughs> <laughs>welcome back to Fumi Fashion and Beauty. Do I have a treat for you? Guess where we are? We are in the beautiful city of Oslo, Norway. I decided that I'm going to be your tour guide in this episode and show you parts of the city that I love and adore. Well, I was here out on a business trip with Ula. Ula, say hello. <laughs> and I decided that you know what since so many of you have asked about Norway or Slow Scandinavia why don't I tell you the little that I know so I'm going to backtrack okay all right I can see some people are passing hello hi wait wait wait, wait. stop come say hi come 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 <laughs> this is so fun hi. girls come 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 yes all of you can come all of you can come yeah 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 come here come here come here come here <laughs> okay so you have to say uh Ula, what shall we say hello london yes okay one two okay look some some of you come this way some of you come this way good girls oh there's so much fun okay so one two three hello london <laughs> Okay, hi guys. Okay, these are some of us. Bye, bye, Hada. Bye, bye. <laughs> That's Oslo for you. They are warm. They are wonderful. The children, the girls, teenagers, that's their spirit. It's snowing outside, but you can feel the warmth on the inside. So anyway, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack for, for you. I had never come to Norway, I had never come to Oslo or Denmark or Sweden until I married my husband. My husband is Norwegian and so I came after I got married to live in Bergen for one year which is the second largest city in Norway and after that we moved to Oslo where we are right now. As a matter of fact we are standing outside the Opera House, I will get back to that in a minute. So Oslo is the capital of Norway it has what about just over half a million people and it is one of the most exciting cities that you will ever visit because Scandinavia on a whole is a place that you that is like no other it really isn't like any other my understanding of Scandinavia was Helena Christensen was Danish um, Abba was Swedish and that was all that I kind of knew but Norway is one of the richest countries in the world because of what oil oil my loves it is also a principality they have a queen and they have a king and of course they have my gorgeous princess Mette and um, they also are known for their seafood you eat salmon in Oslo eat salmon in Norway and you'll never want to eat it anywhere ever again I promise you that so we are outside the Opera House and just look at the magnificent architecture of this building. This is where you have all of the opera and you also have ballet. And I also want to tell you guys, this is where Justin Bieber performed his concert when he came. I'm going to put some pictures for you to see. It's a magnificent building and it is one of the highlights of Oslo City. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous.
Parts of this wonderful city that I had the privilege of living in for five years. Scandinavia. What is Scandinavia? Scandinavia is of three countries, which is Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. When you think of Scandinavia, because it's fashion and beauty, let's think brands. H&M is one of the biggest brands that is Scandinavian. We also have IKEA. I'm sure all of you have some piece or part of IKEA in your home. Yes, it is Scandinavian. We also have Volvo. Yes, that's also Scandinavian. And we also have Lego bricks. Of all the Scandinavian countries, Norway trumps them all. Why? Because of their oil. It is the richest country in Scandinavia and it is also one Oslo, one of the most expensive cities in the world. Yeah. And I'm going to take you to different parts of the city that I totally adore and I think that you would also love to see. Scandinavia is a place that should be on your bucket list, ladies and gentlemen. For once in your life, you should absolutely come and visit. It's a great city and I'm going to show you more. So come with me. I'm standing outside the Nobel Peace Prize Center. Inside is an exhibition which you can come and visit anytime of all the past Nobel Peace Prize winners. It's a great time in Norway when the ceremony is to take place because it goes on for a week with parties and events and of course the huge concert where you have celebrities such as Will Smith, Sarah Jessica Parker, Jennifer Hudson and Diana Ross and so many others that come and perform for the Nobel Peace Prize concert it's a great great exhibition and it is such so touching to the heart to see these people what the contribution they have made on the world and to have it here in Norway I think is just is phenomenal and it's a must see anytime you come and visit Oslo ladies and gentlemen take a look at the Nobel Peace Prize Center I so wish I could bring you guys in but I'll be making too much noise but it's wonderful, it really is. And I'll put everything in the description box for you to see. But this is the famed Nobel Peace Prize Center, guys. Can you imagine? Right here in front of me. And this part where I'm standing is called Akabriga. It's one of the ritziest parts of Oslo city. And you also do have some offices, but primarily you have a lot of restaurants. And in the summer, it is so gorgeous. As you can see, the boats come in and then you sit down, you have your lunch, your ice creams. There's a lot of parties that go on here in the evenings because in the summer, Oslo has what they call white nights. Beautiful, just like Moscow. Translation, it doesn't get dark until what maybe like four in the morning for half an hour and then it gets light again so the days are endless and because of that and because of the great weather a lot of us just come out here we've got parties you got picnics it's a wonderful place in the summer as well as the winter and I just wanted to share this with you and this is called Akabrige Akabrige absolute <laughs> mm. Gorge. And over there, I'll, I'll move over, is the Onda restaurant. Last year, I came and I hosted an event there for the Roberto Cavalli party. That's the restaurant over there. We'll go further down and take some pictures so that you guys can have a better look, okay? Okay, okay, let's go. We are now at Schuhomen and it's a wonderful residential area. It's called Schuhomen, which means the thief. And that is called Ostrefremne over there. And we're going to go over, just take a closer look and let's see what they have, okay? Let's go. So I'm outside the thief. 
But a student, a philanthropist and hotelier, created this hotel a couple of years ago. And it's one of the landmarks in Oslo. It's a must-see. And also, this is where Rihanna stayed when she came to visit Oslo. It's a wonderful hotel. And I got the fortune and honor of interviewing him when he first opened the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, the thief. So here we are at Karl Johans Gata. Karl Johans Gata is one of the busiest streets in Oslo. And it goes all the way down this way where you have restaurants and you've got boutiques and you've got all kinds of stuff going on there. It's one of the busiest places. And then on the other side, we have da -da 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 -da, the Royal Palace. We're going to go there later on to get a closer look, but I just wanted to show you the most, the busiest street in Oslo city. Here's the closer look at the royal palace. Norway is a principality, meaning that they do have a king and a queen. And the royal family comes out onto the balcony on special occasions, such as the 17th of May, which is the national day. And all the Norwegians come out in their national dress. And the royal family comes out on the balcony to say hello to the people of Norway. The prince and his wife, the princess of Norway, Princess Mette Marit, whom I adore so very much I think that she's beautiful and elegant above all she's stylish and she had my heart when she wore the Jill Sander beanie cap with the net I just thought fabulous ladies and gentlemen the royal palace We're outside Vigilance Parken, and we're going to go in in a minute. But I wanted to talk about this beautiful sculpture by my side of Sonia Henne. Sonia Henne was an actress as well as a sensational ice skater that won many medals for Norway. At one point in time, she was the highest paid actress in Hollywood. In 1969, she passed away in the sky. I don't remember where she was going exactly, but I just thought, what a sensational Hollywood exit for a star to go up amongst the other stars. Sonia Henney, ladies and gentlemen. Look her up if you want to. Fabulous actress, too. And we are in the Vigalansk Park, and one of the most beautiful parks I promise you that you will ever set your eyes on. This park, the sculptures in this park, was created by Gustav Vigalan, a sensational artist that created over 212 sculptures. There's a little boy, a sculpture, and I think it's the most loved. It's also the one that has been stolen many times before, but we have been lucky to get it back. There's the Museum of Gustave's portraits and other sculptures that is a must-see. And in the summer, there's a wonderful public swimming pool. As a matter of fact, I think there are three of them. 
and there is song and there's dance and you hear the children play and it is one of the most fun times in the summer in Oslo. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try and cover as much I ca as I can of Vigeland's Parken because it is the intricate detail of the sculptures is sensational. It is a must see and it is the heart of Oslo. I cannot imagine this being anywhere else. Absolute. I'm going to turn around for you one more time and I just want you to, let me just come up close for you to see what Gustav created with the children playing or holding their mother. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. 212 sculptures in this park created by Gustav, Norwegian artist, and this parking is named after him. There's a sensational museum of all of his portraits and details. I will put everything in the description box for you, but it is a sight for sore eyes, and it is one of the most sensational parks that you will ever get to see in Oslo City. Bigger than life size. Look. Bigger than life size. This is me and Ula. <laughs> this is me and this is Ula. Hi, Ula. Hi. <laughs> he likes that one there. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I came to the park. To film and guess what guys I bumped into one of my very very best friends here I'm so excited I just have to bring her on to you come and say hello darling oh. hey. say hello to Fumi Fashion and Beauty everybody hi, hi Fumi Fashion and Beauty <laughs> this is my my sister <laughs> we just meet here yes we just bumped into here uh, uh chiyu is indonesian and she's also married to a norwegian yeah <laughs> and um when you're married to a norwegian they have what they call um uh, uh, what do you call it now noshkosh and so the norwegian wives the wives married to norwegians have to take the noshkosh yeah. and this is how we met chiyu yeah and i love her so much i love you too. <laughs> i love you so much <laughs> oh it's so great to be home. It really is. Tusen, tusen tak. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome, tusen tak. All right, guys. We gotta go. We're gonna yeah. party, party, party. Oh. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the episode and the wonderful tour, mini tour of Oslo City. To my Norwegian friends, Jai kommer snart tilbake, Jai esker dig, tusen tusen tak. And to my other friends all over the world, thank you very much for coming with me on this wonderful tour. I completely enjoyed it and of course, we're not going anywhere until we have the what? The quote of the week. <laughs> okay, so what is the quote of the week? I say to you, travel. My mother taught me that when I was really, really young. She speaks six languages, and amongst them French and Russian. And she always told my brother, my sister, and myself that traveling was an education in itself. It opens up your heart, it opens up your eyes, it humbles you, and you are appreciative of how other people live, irrespective of color, irrespective of culture. And this is the common ground Ula and I have. One is black, the other is white, and it stops right there. We have so much much because we've traveled and seen how people live and we are appreciative of each other so I say to you enjoy your life and open your eyes in opening your eyes it will open your heart in opening your heart you open it will loosen your tongue there's a little saying if you speak to a man he will listen to you if you speak to a man in his language you speak to his heart there's a huge difference there so that's all I have to say, my loves. Enjoy your lives and what? Travel. <laughs>